is going to be a fun little sublimation project. These are 50 millimeter square, that's roughly two inches, refrigerator magnets. And they're sublimation blanks and they come like this and then they come with a little sticky thing you put on the back that has a magnet on it and you can stick them on the fridge. Stove, any ferrous metal surface, iron steel, whatever. My great granddaughter loves to play with refrigerator magnets and she loves Peppa Pig. So I'm going to make her a little set to play with. Show you how to do it, coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the loft above the shop because it's snowing outside so I decided I'd shoot a whole bunch of sublimation videos today. Hence I've got the same clothes on you might have seen in the last video. That's because I'm still in the same spot. What I'm making here are some uh, little refrigerator magnets for the great daughter to play with. And right here, 50 millimeter square, I made myself a bunch of Peppa Pig graphics. Just grabbed them off the internet, put them in Inkscape, size them down, and some of them are wider. But I'm going to mask and just use the sections of it I want uh, when I place the uh, sublimation blanks on it. A uh, fun little thing if you have toddlers or like as, as I mentioned my great granddaughter absolutely loves Peppa Pig and she loves playing with refrigerator magnets and moving them all around and doing different things so I thought this would be a fun little project. Found these on Amazon. They weren't expensive. They got a whole box of 32 of them for I don't know, not too much. I'll put a link in the description where to get them. Uh, as far as the graphics uh, this is on a sub sublimation paper and they are mirrored and you can't sell these because these are copyrighted images, but I'm not selling them. The great granddaughter is going to play with them. So we'll take these over and I'll show you how I get them prepped. So you see here they come these little blanks and then there's uh, these little magnet things you peel and stick put on the back. But we're going to get all these in place first. And it's just a matter of placing them on where you want them to be. And a couple of pieces of heat tape. And as I had mentioned, I made some of these images larger just because I'm going to crop out parts that I don't want. I'll just let that bleed by it. It'll go onto the paper that's underneath these. Don't use the magnets so though. Just use the blanks. Okay, all prepped. We'll take them over to the heat press. Okay, you're at the heat press, 385 degrees. That's Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. Make sure you have a piece of paper down to protect your mat. It's laid down here. Piece of either butcher paper or parchment paper on top. My mat shifted. Yeah, the paper stuck to that one. Wasn't expecting the paper to stick to this. Okay, this is the learn from my mistakes section. Uh, something that I did not notice, and there's no documentation with this, with these magnets. There's a very thin plastic film on the sublimation side that you can't even see. And I Notice that as I was trying to clean up the last batch. So, we're, we got a do over here. That's more like it.
Colors are very good. Especially without that plastic film on there. Okay, here's this plastic film you cannot see. And this is just a weeding tool like you would use with vinyl. And I can get a hold of that little plastic film with this and pull it up. There you see it. And I could not see that on there before and there was no indication that that was there. That's why those at first batch stuck. So that's something to uh, keep in mind if you buy these. Okay, so now next all I need to do is put these little magnet sheets on the back. They come with a little, hey, they stick together just like magnets. A little bit of white paper on the back on the sticky side. Let's grab a hold of that. No, I didn't throw that on the floor. I have a trash can here. You stick it in the middle of the back. So here's our end result. This is a whiteboard that I have up here for cheat notes when I need them for videos. Uh, you'll see over here, these are the three I saved from the first batch because I did not see that plastic film on there. So learn from my mistake and make sure you take that plastic film off. These over here were done with the plastic film off correctly, as, as were these over here. But you can see there's quite a bit of difference in uh, color intensity there and how well they turned out. But I don't think the great-granddaughter will even notice that. Just three more magnets she can play with. So there's a nice little quick, fun little project, as long as you don't make a mistake. Huh. It happens. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. There'll be some uh, links in the description on where to get these. And remember to peel that plastic off. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.